Jumpset presents Skew TV. TV. Jumpset presents Discover the Future. Skew TV. I'm your host Sasha. On our previous episode, the JFAS team successfully identified the depth of the plate boundary fault that caused the Great East Japan earthquake last year. There were two major goals in this project. One is to install sensors that measure frictional heat of the seismic source fault. And the other one was to recover core samples of the fault itself. Although the sensor installation didn't succeed for the first time, CHQ never gave up until the last minute. Are you ready to follow the journey? Let's get started with CHQ TV. CHQ TV. So this has been a very busy week for us. There's been lots of drilling operations and lots of things going on on the rig floor to try to uh, finish the project or try to do the project for uh, the Jace Fast expedition. On Sunday, May 6th, we were drilling at the site where we planned to put the observatory in. There was a wellhead in place and we were drilling a hole to uh, about 800 meters depth where we wanted to put in the observatory. I thought yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Unfortunate time we had a, a major problem. Uh, the pipe broke somewhere near the wellhead and we lost instruments in the hole, we lost some pipe, and most importantly we lost the hole itself. And that was a big disappointment to everyone. It's probably the biggest disappointment that we've had on the whole expedition. Um, after that, we have to talk a lot about what can we do for the rest of the time? What can we do to actually finish our, um, our work and our, our research project here? So we spent um, all day Sunday 
and part of Monday thinking about what to do, lots of discussions with the scientists, lots of discussions with the CDEX people back on shore, and we came up with a new plan. Uh, we got a few extra days for the expedition, and we decided to do something different, and that different thing was try again with a wellhead so that we have a chance of again putting both the observatory in and doing the coring. So the plan was to continue on and try to do both, both projects. I think we can do this. If we only we have even please discuss with Simon. Yes, what to wherever we can go. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck uh, for coring. Yeah. We would like to uh, throw it down the RPM into. Uh, uh, most of the DHA passing through uh, the sea yeah. で、一つはですね、海底面下から720メートルぐらいのところにあるので、非抵抗が急激にその深度で下がるんですね。ま、非抵抗が下がるっていうことは周囲に比べてですね、水を多く含んでいる。で、もう一つはですね、え、海底面
時間がとの時間をいかに減らしていくか大事なんでそういう意味では今のやり方の方が同じクオリティであれば優れてるわけです。割れ目の密度が急激に増加してます。こういうのはあの薄力化してるところ、こういうところです。まあ、まさにここはもう断層帯そのものです。ちょっと古い活動的なものです。じゃないかな。あるねあるねちょっとだから本当に実はこの辺にこの辺にあ,あるのかもしれない非常に近いので崩れちゃってんのこれ。ここなんでこれ形になるの？え、ね、なんでこういう風に切れるの？バッチ。うわすごい。何これすごいな。うわすげえ。That's a picture of the day. <笑><笑>気をつけて、もう赤ちゃんのやつ、赤ちゃんのそう、最近ガタガタガタガタ、我が子だと思って、赤いやつ、赤いえ、それは何ですか？レンズ状に入っちゃった、先端されたテーブルになって、あんまりいけないです、あんまりいけないです、ハハハハハハハハハハえーとですね、一つはあのー、ア
あの中にですね2ミリとか数千ちょうどあの局所化した滑りが、まあ、滑ったところがもしあればですね、えー、それがまあ見えるはずですのでそういうところを期待してます。So this is the last day we've been here maybe over seven weeks. It seems like a long time, but actually went very quickly. And it was a very eventful expedition. There were lots of problems, there were lots of difficulties, and lots of good, exciting things that happened too. So even though it was a long time, the time actually went very fast for me. In the end, we were not able to put in the observatory because of those problems. But on the other hand, it looks like we're going to get another chance. Maybe later this summer, Chikyo will be able to return here and actually put in the temperature observatory, which we think is so important. So that was sort of good and bad.、Um, probably the most exciting parts of the expedition was when we finally got some good core. And by good core, I mean we got to the target that we saw in the LWD data. And when we actually reached those targets, and one of them was the actual plate boundary. The actual boundary between the oceanic and continental plates where most of these big earthquakes are happening. And when we reached that, we actually saw something that we were pretty sure is a big fault zone. And that was very exciting to see the core, to see the geological features, and realizing that this probably was the place where many, many earthquakes have happened over the last hundreds and thousands of years. We aren't sure if this is the place where the earthquake happened last year, but it certainly is a big fault zone where past earthquakes. Have happened. And that's going to be one of the big challenges from now on to look more carefully at that and try to understand the relation between past earthquakes and the recent earthquake that we're here to study. So, overall, it's been、um, exciting. There's been disappointments, but there's been some very, very good progress being able to drill in the deep water and getting the core in the very deep water. And so, overall, I think we can't,、uh, we can't complain. It's been a very successful. Expedition all the way around, and I think almost everyone is very happy, and we're ready to go home now. So, it is great that they successfully obtained fault rock samples. I was also impressed to see the science party and the drillers excited all together. But they need to first measure frictional heat of the fault before concluding that the collected samples are from the fault that caused the earthquake disaster last year. To this end, Chikyu will take on yet another challenge of installing sensors next month, which will again be reported here on Chikyu TV. So, from our next episode, we will be starting a new series, which will cover Chikyu's expedition for elucidating the unknowns of the world below the ocean floor. Is it true that the deep subterranean biosphere has something to do with the Earth environment? Let's find out together. The next Chikyu TV is scheduled on 25th of July 2012. Jumpstack presents Discover the Future Chikyu TV. I'm your host, Sasha. Bye bye.